Hello and welcome to this week's video. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Now I also have a blog so I'll link that down below as well. This is a back to school series that is starting up so I hope you guys will keep watching. I also post once a week on here now and a blog on my blog. So let's get into this video. So for this you're going to need a pencil box, a piece of fabric, and a hot glue gun. So to start out I just took out the piece of pencil box and I laid that on top of a piece of fabric and then I just started kind of wrapping around the fabric around the pencil box before I glued to make sure that it fit and I wasn't going to have to go get a different piece of fabric. After that I just took that off and then I just glued it down. So this is when I started gluing it down. And there, I started with the top to make it a little easier. And then I went on to the sides as soon as I was done with that. So then I just took my scissors and I cut off the excess pieces and then I took some of the sticky stuff because I ran out of glue and I just started sticking it around the areas but it, when I go to school with this, when school starts, I'm going to actually hot glue it back down. I just ran out of time and didn't have any more glue. So it works if it's like a last minute thing but if you're going to, if you have time or if you don't have this, this works as good too. Try and hide it as best as possible. And then I just took some more and started putting it all over and then I cut off some more excess. Then I took my pencil box thing back in it and I set it back in. And then used to have a button piece. So I just cut off that and I got myself a re new pencil case. Put some markers in it, put some pens, and here what it looks like when it's all done. Oh, your Snapchat was full of fun. It'll send me to your time. Right. Now, second project, you're going to need a notebook, some sticky paper or scrapbook paper, a pair of scissors, and something to write with. So, first I just kind of laid down the thing, the notebook inside out. And then I took my sticky paper and I just laid that on top of the paper. I got my sticky paper. It's not really sticky paper. That's not what it's called. It's drawer liner. And I put it on my walls instead of my drawers and it works amazingly. So I got this at Target for $5. Just look for a drawer liner. It comes in two different colors that I found. And it works a lot. Really, really good. So I just traced around the notebook to help me outline instead of cutting around the notebook because I don't have the best steadiest hands. So I just went around the notebook and then I took my scissors and I just kind of started cutting out the excess pieces. Now I grab my notebook again and I set that down and I take the paper and I start unsticking it. Now you have like one chance, you can do it over like I did, but it's really hard if you don't want any bubbles to try and get it in one chance by laying it down. 
I got it in twice chance because I had it a little off to the side, but it worked pretty well. And be careful when you set it down. It's okay if there's bubbles at first, we'll fix those in a minute. So then just take the excess around if you're using a spiral notebook and cut off that part. It was actually pretty easy to cut off the stickiness of it. And then I took my scissors and I kind of just rubbed the bubbles with the scissors up and down till most of the bubbles were done. I did not get the front, didn't work as well as the back, but it's okay. After I did the front, I just took some of the other color I had of the Ajora liner sticky paper and I unsticked it and I made a border around it during the front only because the front just needs something I think a little more special to it. So I kind of just sticked it down and I went around the edges if there was any on the edges put that down. So just made it, if you want, you can even do scrapbook paper on the outside of it or do like a letter. I think it would be cool if I had an A in it, but I didn't think of that till after I made the video. So yeah. This is me having trouble trying to get it unsticked. So this is what it should look like when you are all finished. So now taking the same notebook or a different notebook, we're going to make a sticky note planner. So what you're going to need is sticky notes, some paper or notebook. And you're also gonna need so scissors and uh, something to write with. So I just took my scissors and I cut my, it's me having problems getting the scissors up, cutting my sticky notes into halves if they are huge, that's what I would do, make a little more room. And then after getting, I think, three to four sticky notes cut, I'm gonna start putting them in an order. So I did three on the top of three rows. So just starting off by doing that. But if you're using ones, what I would do is just do um, seven. And now taking my marker and I just made lines going around each sticky note to make kind of a border around it to kind of give it something. And then the last two areas that I had, I just put two more sticky notes for some note areas. I think this would work. I'm gonna use this summer because this summer. The school year because it would come in really handy during the school year when for each class if you just had this and then you could be like Monday homework, Tuesday homework, Thursday and switch it out every week. So then I just put the days of the week and then I put two notes on each. This is what it should look like when you're all done. If you do any of these, um, send them to me on my Twitter. I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. Bye.